we were just out for the day and uh, on the start we got this odor kind of coming in from it's hard to tell right but it turns out I think it is emanating from the engine bay and um, if I'm not mistaken I can hear a whine I'll start the car you might be able to hear the whine and I think my fan speed is actually slowing down so this is uh, the Azure Grey um, 2009 all-wheel drive SX4 I know it gets confusing which car is which um, this car's got 415,000 on it. It is the original alternator, the second alternator at, at the, I'm not sure. I have to check the log, but I think the alternator is gone is the point I'm trying to get it. Let's see how it cranks. Can you hear that whine? I don't know if the soundtrack is picking it up, but I've got to get this home quick because I have a feeling we're running on battery power. So there is a definite, distinct, acrid odor. You know that you know that electrical smell when you smell it. Anyway, let's put a mirror on the on the battery here. See what the alternator is putting out. If anything, sorry about the glare here, guys. There's not much I can do about that at the moment. So statically here, the battery's sitting at 12.4. Um, bit inconclusive start the car and see if there's any output for the alternator very strange indeed actually not so strange is the fact that um, there's no indications on the uh, instrument panel of a failure you know the, the battery light and the warning light is not coming on or anything like that which is not the first time that's happened in an SX4 I've seen the alternator fail before and there's no indication on the instrument panel for whatever reason the nature of the failure this one seems very very similar but again we'll get it started and uh, let the numbers tell us instead of guessing so my apologies guys at a critical moment in the video here um how do you put this i forgot to hit the record button so when i started the car take my word for it there's virtually no output from the alternator um, the voltage is only adjusting by a few tenths nowhere near normal uh, voltage or uh, nominal charge rates um, you'll see in the video I actually cut from the scope here and we jump cut to the uh, to the uh, battery charger analyzer that I've used in the past which was actually pretty effective in the past in telling the story but you'll see in this case um, not really uh, any useful data of any sort look at the numerical data and look at the test results and you'll see what I mean in any case, we get back to the scope here shortly as I take a closer look at the ripple output and trying to uh, evaluate what exactly is wrong with the uh, alternator. So after carrying out the charging test multiple times, I get the same results. And what universe is that normal? <laughs> okay, so I captured this image on the car here, guys. I just brought it indoors here because with the strong sunlight, the glare is absolutely horrendous. And makes it difficult to appreciate the trace when there's not much glare so this is the ac ripple on the car okay so um the, the uh as you can see here the scaling so we have an extremely small uh signal here amplitude wise and this is ac coupled so that is to say that this trace is stripped of the dc component of the alternator's output okay i hope that makes sense so what we actually looking at here so to me, this potentially speaks to um, an absence of one of the three phases on the stator windings. Can you see here how this looks close to a third? Maybe close to a third. And a third of the signal is actually missing. If you were to look at this in, from a time, time domain standpoint, um, I don't know whether I'm making my theory fit the defect that, that we're dealing with here. But it looks to me that there's a clear absence for this portion of the output uh, of the alternator. I think potentially there's a, one of the windings on the stator is open, so a third of the output of the alternator is missing. Just a theory. Okay, so why am I saying that? So this alternator here is uh, completely different. It's from the B-Spec engine as opposed to the three other cars in the driveway are A-Spec completely different casing wise but are the internals the same 
maybe if you recall i replaced this on uh, this car here because um, of high output uh, issue with the voltage regulator so is the stator windings in here the same maybe if this speaks to an actual stator issue can i cobble two bad alternators into one good one maybe well, the thought occurs to me i have a car right here i could compare it to or that one back there for that matter or i guess even this one here kind of makes good sense to have a comparison okay so here i'm um, in the other car here guys this is a 2007 this one the alternator is fine and i just took a snapshot um of the uh, ripple here let's go in the garage again because again the glare is a nightmare okay so this is captured from the uh, 2007 sx4 guys again with a healthy uh, charging system and uh, this once again is the ripple output again it's ac coupled stripped of dc component of the uh, of the signal so you can see here um this is a consistent um, waveform it's not missing any uh, segments you can clearly see um, everything is contributing you know it looks to me like all six diodes in the bridge all three phases of the bridge are actually present here so let me superimpose the um, this let me superimpose the uh, the output from the 2009 the one that's currently experiencing the issue or the uh, charging system the alternator and you should be able to see there's a clear and distinct difference on the ripple there even though the little analyzer said that the ripple was okay even though the output said it was okay it clearly is not okay you know look at the look at the signatures between the two um ripples and it's a huge difference between the two